Hello everyone, welcome back to WebNestify channel. Today we are diving into the something incredibly useful for anyone working with servers, Cloud Init. If you ever felt bogged down by repetitive server setup tasks, or if you are looking for a way to streamline your deployments, this video is for you. So what exactly is Cloud Init? In simple terms, it's a tool used to automate the configurations of cloud servers at boot time. Whether you are spinning up a single server or hundreds, Cloud Init can help you configure them all automatically, saving you tons of time and effort. So why you should care? So now you might be wondering why you should care about Cloud Init. The answer is simple, automation. With Cloud Init, you can predefine configurations for your servers, things like setting up users, installing packages, or even running custom script. Run when the server starts up. No more logging in manually to set everything up. It's all done for you. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you will never miss out of any upcoming tech tips and tutorials. So let's get started. So first thing, what we need to do is to explain this uh, Cloud Winit uh, configuration file that I created for you. This is derived uh, from my own, what I'm using to spin up every single server. So let's uh, break it down. So we have first section called users, right? So here in this section, you can specify how many users you want to create. So by default, you want to add something like your company name, or your name or whatever you are used to to log in into the server. So here you can see his name in square brackets change me. So you can add your name. You can add, for example, test. And then you want to log in only with SSH keys. And here you can specify your public SSH keys. If you have more keys, you can just copy this line as you can see here, and you can paste it underneath. So if you got two, you can do three, four, five, ten. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you want to add different user, so you want to copy this, and you want to go under, and you can, for example, name the user testing tool. So. This is completely up to you how many users you want to have. So let me go back. And of course, you want to have also root user. And also you want to give these SSH keys upon the uh, root user. Um, then we have also, uh, we added our user to the pseudo group, which we specify also here. And this means that every time we want to type in sudo, we will need to type the password that we're going to uh, specify. So, for your user, for example, you added testing. Here in the list, you will list those uh, users for the password. So we want to add it here into the square brackets. And the password is change me. That means if you log in first time to the server, you will have password change me, which you will need to type and then you will need to change it. So I will show you when we finish the explanation, I'm going to show you how to use it and how to paste it before you spin up your new server. Uh, expire true. That's fine. And uh, yeah, then we have some run comments. And this is where the power of cloud in it also is really great. So here we specify in sshd config that we don't want to log in as root. We want to disable it. Then we want to add the ssh pubkey authentication, right? So we added pubkey authentication, yes. In some cases, if you want to use uh, sftp, ftp, you want to keep password authentication to yes, which is completely fine. Strict mode, I recommend it enable it to yes. There are some additional checks before you connect uh, via SSH. 
and then of course we will need to restart the SSHD uh, system service so it can take effect of this custom configuration. Next up uh, we have uh, changed the kernel hints. That means that whether you will need to, you want to basically perform a system uh, security updates without a user interaction. So every time there is a prompt that you will need to confirm that service needs to be restarted, this will be handled automatically. So you can basically use unattended upgrades without even realizing that is happening. You don't need to restart any service manually. Uh, then we have apt upgrade, allow downgrades, that's completely fine. Then we have apt install unattended upgrades. Uh, that means the server will automatically install all necessary security updates automatically. And here we have uh, here uh, dpkg reconfigure non-interactive. We will configure those security updates in non-interactive way. Then we also specify that we will create a four gigabyte swap file. We change it, the permissions and add to the FS tab. So every time system boots, the swap is mounted. And also uh, what I like to do is to set up basically that every week after you do the updates, the server is uh, rebooted automatically. Here is Sunday 4 a.m. in the morning every week. And that's basically it for this, but you can do in this run command, you can add whatever you want. If you are running some custom scripts uh, that you have that you are doing on your server, you can easily put it here. So we don't need to do it manually. This is just my template that I'm using. I have more scripts there, but uh, I think this is this is going to help you. And if you have those scripts, you can also paste this to ChatGPT and you can tell them that you want to run your own scripts, give them those scripts and it will help you. All right, so now it's time to deploy our server. All right, so let me switch to the browser. And if you are using Linode, Vulture or any cloud provider, most of them should support the cloud in it. So you want to add a new server. I'm gonna choose just the basic one for this demonstration. You can add firewall rules if you have, doesn't matter. You can enable backups. And here is where you paste the cloud in it. So I'm going to paste mine and gonna do test in it i'm gonna create a buy and uh, now you will need to give it a little bit more time before it needs to go through the cloud init file so if your server takes 30 seconds to spin now it can take up to two to five minutes depending on your cloud init file so give it a little bit wait and then we can log in. And I think should be done already. So let me copy the IP, switch uh, to your terminal. And when you are in your terminal, you can add a new host. You can do test in it. And if you have already your pubkey and your credentials, you can just choose it here and click connect. You accept and continue. And now, as you can see, it is asking you to change the password because in cloud we need, we specify change me. So what you want to do, you want to type change me. And now we want to add your new password. Perfect. So now you change your default password and it will log you out. So to log back in, what you need to do is just to log in back. And let me confirm. 
And as you can see, the server is updated. Let me do sudo update. As you can see, everything is updated automatically. You don't need to do anything. Uh, let me check the SSHT file, sudo nano etc ssh sshd and as you can see we have all the configurations that we set permit root login pubkey strict mode which is really really great and uh, yeah that's basically it for this cloud and it is really simple straightforward it will uh, basically automate anything what you want so I have prepared for you uh, the Cloudinit explanation uh, PDF file where uh, you can read more about each section so you can have it handy if you want to add something or edit. And also you will find the text file containing this cloud configuration. So uh, to get hands on my created Cloudinit configuration, all you need to do is sign up for our email list. And you will find the link in the description. Just follow the link and enter your email and make sure to confirm your interest with double opt-in process. Once you confirm, you will receive an email with complete documentation and full cloud init config ready to use. So fill in your first name, email. Don't worry, I'm not sending any spam. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so we never miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.